Talk about where your comfort zone is at. It seems to be getting a little better and a little better all the time. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Uh, you know, I feel like Chris Cowles put me in a better uh, position. Uh, and that's successful. So, uh, you like that 15 foot shot, don't you? Uh, you know, that's why he wants me to do it. Uh, often, so I'm going to do it. Do you feel like do you feel like Alex is going to play tonight or, or tomorrow night? And if he does or doesn't, um, does that affect you guys down low? We found out last uh, before last game that he was out. You know that that his knee was bothering him a little bit, but uh, it's day to day. From what I heard, uh, I think he will be all right. I don't know. How different does it change in the post for you guys when he doesn't play? Uh, you know, for us, it's uh, next man up. Uh, you know, he went down before the game, and I think um, that kind of put a chip on our shoulders a little bit to bring it the last game. So. As you get more comfortable with your game, what parts of the game are becoming easier for you? Uh, definitely, uh, I feel like defense, you know, talking more. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help the team in any way I can. The re possible. I'm sorry for stepping on here. The rebounding problem and the, that you didn't get a rebound for three games, was that bothering you <laughs> a lot? Uh, definitely, you know, uh, that's something I think about all the time. So. Did you hear the other night the roar when you grabbed a rebound with two hands? It seemed uh, like there was uh, relief in the, in the entire arena. Oh, I heard some. I heard a little bit of some. Does that make you smile when you hear everybody cheering you like that? Oh, uh, it's definitely a good, a good thing, I'll say. Uh, Briscoe got one of those when he made a couple free throws a few games back after after a rough stretch. Do you feel like this fan base pays very close attention to, uh, to every little uh, thing uh, that uh, you guys do, definitely. for better or worse? Definitely. Uh, I think everything's magnified here at Kentucky, so I think uh, the fans uh, they pay really good attention to everything we do. So. Was that difficult, understanding and learning how everything is magnified here so much when you're um, through it? I, I knew it, you know. It's just something that you basically have to get used to. So. How about the physical practice? Coach talked about how physical last Thursday's practice was. How are you fitting into that, and how do you um, feel about that? You know, and how do you uh, think that's helping you build as a player? Uh, it's definitely helping, helping me more because practices are more physical than games. Definitely. Um, you know, we go at each other, so that's been helping me a lot. There's been a lot of talk about Tyler as a sort of an extension of Cal on the floor, a coach on the floor. What ways do you see that? Maybe so, in practice or during games? Or I, uh, last one. During practice and games, I see it all the time because, I mean, he's just a great leader. Uh, tell us where to be on the court, tell us what to do and what not to do. Uh, I think he's done a very good job at that. After that last game, Florida's coach was talking about how he seemed to be anticipating everything they were doing, and he was in places before they could even get there. Uh, definitely. What do, you, uh, what do you see when, when he does things like that? Uh, you know, it's just about paying attention to a scouting report. I think he does a really good job at that, and we need to do a better job at that too as players, uh, as his teammates, uh, because I think he does a really good job at that.